land and dirty. Uh uh, welcome to your boy, Jonathan You already know you're racking. You tuned into Warcraft's best. Now, this intro is going to be a little long because I have to. I need to explain to you guys how this is working and why this is working this way. Uh, this is the part two of the two maps per expansion video. Now, it was supposed to be one video all together, but because I knew that video was going to come out much longer, because, I mean, we're talking, what is it, like, six expansions and two maps per expansion, the video is going to come out long. It's bound to come out long regardless of what I do. And that was after reshooting the video. I took it from 50 minutes down to 30 minutes, making it as short as I possibly could and still explaining to you why I like the map within like a minute time so i had to separate it and make it a separate video so this part is the honorable mentions these are maps that uh you know how i had the two maps i chose that i liked and then there's the honorable map like this is a map i would have chose had it not been for such and such so and so so we're doing a part two this is part two and boom that way you guys understand it so when you hear me say for this i chose or like quick intermission and yet it cuts to something that should already have been there that's why that's because it was supposed to cut in between the original video but it was way too long so i had to shorten it so that way you'll be able to understand the way i'm talking about certain things it's like this is weird why is he saying it like that even though it's this video that's because it was chopped down and made into a separate video that way you can understand also this is tunda this is a a, a very old torn uh shaman of mine who has been in my little stories for a very long time and i decided to make her actually a real character because i've never had a female torn before i've been playing this game for 15 and a half years maybe a little longer never had a torn never played a torn female ever till till this character it was weird is it, but it, it feels like playing a regular male torrent, so it, it, it's honestly it's smooth. But yeah, now you understand. Long intro, but that I needed to explain that so people understand why things are cutting the way they're cutting. All right, enjoy the video. Now I'm gonna tell y'all like this for the bonus clip, man. I gotta keep it quick and simple. There was no easy task choosing my favorite places for vanilla, as there are so dang many. But, I had to choose Elwyn Forest for one simple reason. No matter how many people you smack in BGs, no matter how many teams you clean up in arena, no matter how many mythics you do, no matter how many of any of them things you do, you always find yourself back in Elwyn Forest, whether it's Goldshire, Everest logging camp, whether you're just venturing around, you can feel the freaking classicness of it. You can feel the people who played in 2004 and 2005 who were just learning the game. Elwyn Forest always is that spot to drop back to when it's time to unwind. I, you don't feel like raiding, PvPing? Elwyn Forest is more than likely where you're falling back to. Now, for place, for a bonus, we have the most absolute, absolutely by far the most gorgeous map. Only reason I chose Hellfire over this is, well, I'm going to explain to you. Now, the reason I couldn't choose Silvermoon over Hellfire was because Silvermoon is kind of an unmarked zone. It's kind of wonky, okay? So, let me teach you something. This, this bonus clip uh, is going to be a little longer than the rest, okay? Now, when you look at your map, what does it say? It says uh, Eversong Woods. Eastern Kingdoms, Azeroth, you know, world, right? You zoom out, what does it say? 
say Silver Moon City and all that. Eversong Woods is right up above Ghostlands, and Ghostlands is right above Eastern Plaguelands. That's not true. Let me show you why. So I know a lot of people are probably thinking, what would make you choose Hellfire over this place? Shoot, even the Grand, because honestly, this place is better looking than the Grand. The Grand is my second favorite place. But the thing about this place is, it's nowhere, and it's somewhere at the same time. So, like I said earlier, when you look at it, it says Eastern Kingdoms. But if you think about it, when you have to hit Eastern, Pl Eastern Plague Lands, uh, Ghostlands and Eversong Woods is portaled. Why? Because it's not actually on Azeroth. It's actually deep within Outlands, about up here somewhere. So, choosing that makes it a little wonky because it's here on Azeroth while being on Outlands at the same time. So, way back in the day, when there was uh, TBC Trials, uh, trial accounts were still in vanilla. So, what would happen is when you would try to step foot uh, into Ghostlands or take the boat to Azeroth, Watch, you would be ported to Darkshore or they would say you do not have permission to go to this area. That is because Azermyth um, and Eversong Woods is not actually, uh, in Azeroth. It is in TBC areas. So, uh, like I said, Eversong Woods is uh, up here somewhere. And if I'm not mistaken, Azermist, uh, the whole of the Draenei Island, is down here somewhere. Way off the map. I'll try to post pictures if I can find the legitimate map. Quick intermission. I could not find maps any dang where, but make sure you stay to the end of the video because I will be showing exactly what I'm talking about. And I mean, I, I'm, I'll be exactly showing you. No map, no editing tricks, no none of that. Alright, that's the last interruption. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Continue on with the video. Or grab some more snacky snacks real quick. Pause it and grab some more snacks. You know what I mean? Maps. But in, in, for, in real... Like, for real, for real, this, to me, hands down, is the best-looking map. Every time I come here, I get hit with nostalgia levels beyond from back in the day leveling Fellwood and Retorio. I don't want to make this bonus clip too much more longer, but the bo boom, there you go. That's the news. That's the history. That is why I chose uh, Hellfire Peninsula over this magnifical land. And even the grand because it it's weird. It's not here and it is at the same time. So it's better this be a bonus, a bonus than a main. But it is the best looking place. Also, I didn't do uh, the island because it is literally the same place. There would be no point. It's the same thing too. It's off the coast, so they claim. It's not actually there. It's in Outlands. Deep in Outlands somewhere. Deep within the nether. That is why back in the day, like I said earlier, you could not come here if you were a trial account. 10 day trials. <laughs> The only reason I didn't choose Crystal Song Forest as one of my favorite maps was because it's so much smaller than both Boring and uh, Hollowing, for sure. If it wasn't for that, I would have chosen this place as the best looking map in Rathlinchkin. No doubt. Look at the trees. I mean, do, do I even have to explain myself? It just reminds me of the good old classic Final Fantasy VII movie and the game my dad used to play all the time with the crystal forest they had in that movie and the game absolutely gorgeous for my bonus spot man i absolutely had to give it to the all-time gorgeous vortex pinnacle man hold up man now this did give me an idea too was to do cities so i think you know what my next video gonna be the best to worst looking cities. You know what I mean? And obviously, sheesh, this will this will be in it. I gotta stop doing it. <laughs> Freaking stupid. Look at this place, man. If this was a real place, would you want to live here? That's the question. I wouldn't. Why? Because I wouldn't get to stay there. You know what I mean? 
Although I can't lie, as someone who was a very serious tank back in the day, tanking this place was extremely annoying when you had a garbage computer and your graphics were super low so you could barely see these dang dudes. <laughs> now y'all should have known I wasn't just going to stop there. I know most of these bonus clips are supposed to be like 30 seconds, but there's no way you can only record 30 seconds of a map this absolutely outrageously beautiful, okay? So we're going to go... What, 50 seconds? 45? I don't freaking know. It's gonna be a long video regardless. <laughs> and for our bonus, we're gonna have to go with the absolute beautiful Kunlai Summit. Why? Because the skybox is incredible looking. The snow, the cherry blossoms, the villages. Absolutely beautiful by far. Just simply holds uh, the most sustainable beauty <laughs> you know what I'm saying all around this place is just amazing looking and even when you go to the parts that aren't snowing what is it amazing looking plus it kind of gave me a memory back when I used to or not used to but I play on the server a uh, private server called RPH WoW where it's a giant roleplay server this dude made this custom map that was up here and that crap was pretty tight it was pretty tight I couldn't lie I uh, never, unfortunately, I never got it recorded because he disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. But yeah, have to give it to Kuhn Lai, man. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. <laughs> For our 30-second bonus clip, we have... Warlords of Draenor, the Grand. Though not nearly as beautiful as the Outlands in the Grand, it is still pretty dang gorgeous. Supple green grass, large mountains, slopes, waterfalls, soft but thick luscious clouds, beautiful night sky. It may not be the Grand's Outlands, but it is still the Grand. I could not get footage for my specialty legion zone, but I do have pictures. So when you're doing the Lightforge Draenei quest with Tipartos, he sends you to this area that looks absolutely incredible. It is the same area that comes from Warlords of Draenor, but it has its own specialty skybox, own specialty fog, coloring, and everything. And it looks amazing, as you can see from these pictures. I couldn't get video of the zone, unfortunately, because my BFA private server is acting like garbage. So all I could do was get some pictures I took of Govera uh, back in Legion. And as you can see, the zone is absolutely incredible looking. Like, seriously. I had to... I could not. <laughs> when it comes to our bonus zone for BFA, I got to give it to Altal Dizar. Why? Because look at it. It's Zuldazar, but bigger and better looking. Mm, look at all that gold. As we fly in, you'll begin to notice that, mmm, it's covered in gold. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of gold, but, mmm, it's covered in gold. Let me stop. Uh, look at it, man. Absolutely incredible. Sheesh. Oh, that's a nice picture. Hold up. You know what I mean? It's completely head to toe in gold. Yo, bro, don't get in my way. Stupid bird. I'll knock you out the sky, man. Don't get in my way, bro. I'm filming right now. Alright. Look at this, man. It's absolutely beautiful. And it has its own specialty skybox. It's never nighttime here. The sun is always shining in Atal Dazar. Absolutely beautiful. That's all I can say. Yo, word up, I was just herfing, right? And in this dumb bird. Had the nerve to get on me. So now I gotta hurt him. And I gotta hurt his feet. Hold on. Something else is attacking me. <sighs> no! I can't hurt. So we're on the Storm Herald here. And, well, there's not very many places when it comes to... Who the heck is this dude? Hold up. Who is this dude? There we go. Uh, so there's not very many places in Shadowlands. So the three places that are the most beautiful in my opinion 
are Ardenweald, uh, Bastion, and then you have the gorgeous Oribos. Now, I know a lot of people don't like traversing this place because it's a lot like a uh, uh, Satrath. I didn't have that hard of a time uh, traversing Satrath, honestly. And, and I was 12. I was 11, 12 years old. So, I'm, I don't know. That's just saying something. <laughs> this place is beautiful, man. It really is. And on the outside, as y'all just saw, man, the outside is stupid. Look at this place, man. So, for my honorable mention for Shadowlands, it's got to be this place. Look at that. That's Ardenweald. You know what I mean? Of course, Ardenweald has the prettiest portal because of that absolutely gorgeous blue. And then when you step to the edge. Look at that, man. That's Bastion. It's absolutely beautiful. That's uh, the Venthyr. That's the vampire place. Come on, man. But the mall's portal, the mall's portal is by far the prettiest. You know what? Where is it? Somewhere on the edge. <laughs> this place is beautiful, though. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it, man. Oh, you can't see behind all those shoulders. Look at that. Where are you headed? Okay, never mind. I thought it was he was going to fly toward the moon. <laughs> quick intermission because i know there's always going to be the skeptical folks all right just in case you don't believe the two maps that popped up on the western name look at this all right you see it we're in hellfire now if you fly to a very specific part of the nether you go all the way down right before your character disappears into the abyssal you go all the way down about here guess what skybox it turns into Eversong Woods. Yes, sir. That's Eversong Woods for you, baby. Now, if I think if you go up just a little bit, there you go. That is nighttime Eversong Woods map. We are now in Eversong Woods. Does that not look exactly the same? It does. Why? Because Eversong Woods and Azer Watch is not in Azeroth. That is why you can't fly. Plus, I mean, look at it. <laughs> It's a freaking mess. Looks terrible. Okay. Although I freaking I, I freaking love the dead scar. This part looks crazy. Alright, back to the video. Here's another point of view. That is island the island of Kudansus or whatever it, Eversong Woods. And that right there is Azer Watch. There you go. We're gonna see if we could try to get over there, but that's gonna happen after the video. So you've made it to the end of the video. And you wish to see the truth. Okay. There we have Eversong Woods. There we have uh, Azer Watch. Draenei, uh, Blood Elf Zone. Draenei Zone. For those who don't remember the original names. Now if we head into spectate mode. Yeah. This is going to be just as new as it is to me as it is to you. I have no clue if this will work. But we're about to find out. Okay. So we're in spectate mode. We can now pass the barriers. Oh it works. Now what we want to do now is up the speed so we can move a bit faster. So let's go ahead and put that to 500. Now look at this. We are traveling outwards. So you know this is all one thing. I'm not going to skip it. I'm not going to speed it up so you know. I don't want nobody being like, oh, that's not true. Boom. What is that? That is Ghostlands. And as you can see, we're still on Torquey Bork. Still got all our warrior abilities. You know what I'm saying? I can hide the hood, but I need you to see this. You feel me? Now, if we go right across from here, we can go straight to Azer Watch. There, there it is. Like I said, we ain't even gonna chop nothing. We gonna speed it up or nothing. I want you to see this. So you know, this is 100% legit. This is why you cannot fly in these zones. Blow. Look at that, baby. Yes, sir. What is that? That is Azure Watch. That is why you cannot fly here. Although, as you can see from upper head view, Azure Watch is good to go. You could fly here with no issue. That reason being, 
as you saw with uh, the Blood Elf Zone, it's not quite the same. It is not in good view. <laughs> now the thing about Azure Watch is it's underground. So of course, if you everything else at the top is going to look fine because you can't make a half breed crystal. Because if you're back here at the what's name, you look up and see a half crystal. You know what I'm saying? This crystal can be seen from a, from quite a while away. I mean, look how big it is. Even with the shaders on, you still be able to see it. Now, if we go ahead and remove toggle, uh, if we remove spectate mode, where do we go? We go back to Torquey Bork. And you can still see him out there. Okay, she, I wish you would stop that. It's so loud. <laughs> Boom. And that is why you cannot fly in those zones. They are technically here. They aren't in Azeroth. That's why you have to go to, through a portal for the both of them. You have to go through a portal from Eastern Plaguelands for Ghostlands and, uh, as, uh, what's the name? And then you have to take a boat to go to, uh, Azer Watch, which, as you know, without that boat, uh, you're never gonna get there. There's no other way there without that boat. Or a portal to Satrath. That's the best you're gonna get. Well, there you go. They don't live in dirty.